Hello SGD and let's make a Serapine box. Links in the descriptions to the quarrying, the moving, the cutting as well, but what's the impossible part about this? We've got the tools making the inside of the box. Here are some shots from Dennis Stocks's book and talking, so for instance on the sarcophagus inside the Great Pyramid you can still see a core hole partially there on the outside, but how to hollow out a box, it's, it's quite simple. Well, once you've got your block, you just drill a series of holes. Copper tools, perfect. I'll just show you the examples. How would you do it step by step? We've got to hollow out the box. So uh, this diagram here showing the sarcophagus in the Great Pyramid, but where it's a Serapine box, it's exactly the same process. A series of holes around the outside, some on the inside to weaken the internal structure, because then, as I showed earlier, you can snap granite quite easily. Um, you could only have so many people working at one time, so you'd have four drills per... But here's a granite sink made in modern times. How do they make it? Well, let's look at that. So they have a modern drill, diamond tip drill. They drill a series of holes with a drill like that. Well, this, um, they go around 1600 RPM. Important point, keep that in mind. And uh, so here's another way with a power drill. He uses some tape so the drill doesn't slip around. I use a, a wooden guide. Uh, he starts off, he drills. It's ex he's using diamond and steel. It's exactly the same as copper and sand. The steel doesn't cut, it's the diamond. The copper doesn't cut, it's the diamond. Once he's got a guide hole, put some mud or putty around the outside to contain the water. The water is important because that's going to create those striations, uh, which is so impossible to make. But it's what, what, what is he doing here? He can drill a series of holes and, well, uses the water, he gets down to a certain point, just has that mud on the outside. So look at his picture, we'll compare that to mine in a moment, power drill, so it's uh, going a lot lower RPM. Okay, here I am drilling granite. How did I do it? I used a wooden guide to create the first guide hole. Then I put some, you know, plasticine mud around it, or you could use mud just to stop the water spilling. It was mainly to keep things clean, so the grit wouldn't go everywhere around the house. If you're working outside, it's not even a problem. And uh, grit, I was, I was using copper. I was using copper and non-diamond. So you still hear this Brian Foster, oh, you need diamond technology. It's absolute rubbish. And notice there at the top uh, right corner as well, the striations, exactly the same impossible striations that the lost ancient high technologists uh, carry on about after all these years. They know about these experiments. They just won't tell you about them. They've got to sell you the mystery. Okay, uh, another clip from an older drill. So how fast am I going? Those high-speed diamond drills are doing about 1,600 RPM. The power drill, uh, battery charger, going a little bit less, but I've just painted that uh, spot on there so I can do a rev count. And uh, surprise, surprise, uh, once I got a bit better at it, so initially I wasn't quite so good, I've improved my technique to make it a little bit easier. Uh, less, it's a bit more sweaty, more grunt work doing it like uh, this particular method. There's an easier, nicer way to do it, but what's my RPMs, revolutions per minute, and it turns out that I'm getting consistently above 330, and when I was in the zone, I was getting uh, above 420. So, and this was just a one grab that I just, I just took out to do it. So if I'd been practicing and I was a younger man and a bit more coordinated, not only would I have to maintain 420 RPM, probably do better than that as well. So. Absolutely, you can drill in the granite. This, this ancient Egyptian tool, this is a flywheel drill, the stonemason's drill. Uh, this works great. It, it's, it compares very well to a modern tool, except modern tool uses electricity. I'm using hand power. Uh, so there you can see I've got like a four inch tube to uh, start cutting this sort of piece. So it's not limited to small tubes as well. You can do it with a bigger tube. I haven't got a bigger weight on there just to help with the cutting speed. And I had multiple tubes. Tubes within tubes within tubes which are adding to the friction as well. So again you'll hear this. Uh, when you're cutting stone with copper it's basically slipping over the top. If you hear, if anyone tells you that a copper blade is going to get wedged inside a, whether it's a saw blade or a drill blade, they've got no friggin idea what they're talking about. They've never done it. It's just a nonsense as well. So, um, and 
tubes within tube, this is an important point because it's got to do with removing the stone as well. So let's go back to the actual making of the granite. And how did they remove? So they drilled a series of holes and how did they remove it? Well, drill holes and then just break them out, which brings us back to this point here. So uh, I, I've done it. I know for a fact you can drill very efficiently with copper. You make a series of holes. I get 15 mil per hour when I got good at it. And so those fellas, they used a machine drill and then they got chisels and they knocked out the cores. Well, you can't do that. We can do that with wood and copper wedges, as I show here. So just drill a bunch of holes and then with just with wood would be enough. I was using the feather and plug technique with copper shims and then a wooden wedge down the middle and I was able to break out those cores. However, I wouldn't even have to do this step because instead of having a single tube, I would have tubes within tubes within tubes, which means I wouldn't even have to pop it out because I could break it apart because the walls between the pieces are so thin. Here's a video I made a series of diamond rings, uh, diamond, granite rings, where they were just uh, about a millimetre and a half wide. Tubes within tubes, so instead of popping out the core, you drill like this and then those, they're so delicate, when I got the ring out I dropped it on the floor and it shattered. So this would be another way to do it, tubes within tubes, and then you don't even need to pop out the core. This thing is just going to disintegrate once you get to a certain depth. Uh, so this is another like proof of concept. If someone wants to place an order for a Serapeum box made by Copper Tools, I'll give you a quote. I know it can be done. Um, but also notice the central hole. That was uh, just over a centimetre in width. This will come up later. I'll show you more. But anyway... This is another way to remove the cores because they just would disintegrate. Or you could just use a single tube and uh, with wood, copper shims, you would break those out uh, very, very um, easily as well. The granite just lends itself to, to snapping and uh, breaking. It's like very hard if you get banged by it, but it's, uh, once you put a bit of force on the side, it doesn't bend very well. It just... Uh, breaks and this core is going to break out so a series of holes pop out the cores you've got it now you only need to go down it you don't need a super long tube because you just go down a certain depth then you pop out the core you go down a little bit more pop out the core and you just add a long stick so if you need to you know, just have a, a, a long just extend your drill to, to go to that depth you just need a longer piece of wood and a copper tube um, at the end of it so it's, it's no problem at all this part okay so with a copper tube hand powered drill you can get these holes out it's just not a problem you can get it out you don't need to drill the whole thing because you can break the wall the weaker parts of the walls if you're using a bigger tube and it's going to save you time because it means less drill holes well then you want to make it easier because the corners is now the impossible you know in a trihedral corners it's so impossible well at the corners just use a, a small diameter drill tube so if you zoom in so you've got the bigger ones and at the corner you just use a smaller tube to make a smaller hole and this is one of the Chris Dunn impossible fantasy parts like how did they do these you know inner radial corners basically it's a, a a one centimeter tube drill at the outside so he says four to five mil radius you know eight to ten millimeters to create that and is this a problem no it's not okay uh, back to this clip the, the the smallest hole diameter in there that's just because I had the tube of that size so I get a centimeter tube means the radius is going to be four to five millimeters therefore I create that so-called impossible radial inner corner which the Christopher Dunn and Uncharted X are still saying is like it's this unexplainable mystery no it's easy super easy all right, so so far you drill the holes, you pop out the cores, copper capable of doing this. Uh, I've got the rates, uh, cutting rates done experiments. Anyone's welcome to repeat them. Maybe one day lost ancient high technology might actually touch some stone and primitive tools. But now we have the issue, once you've drilled the holes out, then you have those little undulation sort of wavy parts between there. Well, again, through some basic experimentation, uh, these things are very easy to knock out. So stone tool, because they're sharp, well, bang, you know, like, uh, again, there's the, the demo. I'm not a stonemason. This was, like, first attempt, so I just learnt the principle, you know, 
grabbed a stone and played around with it, something for decades that the Christopher Dahn, Brian Foster, Uncharted X, all of these lost ancient high technology channels haven't done a thing, haven't contributed a thing, and they're covering this type of information up. Still the impossible to make box. It's a box made of granite. The tools work. Uh, so there you go. Then you can knock out those the sharp points now there will be a stub left over now you can still just stone pounder pounder them down it doesn't take long this job would be done in a very very short time all right so you just drill out a bunch of holes put them along just put sticks and strings and plumb lines to keep going basic surveying tools uh, ancient ones will work fine to get this so now you've knocked them all out and but what you're left with is well, those undulations, again, you can grind them out. So now you have a hollow box, the black on the inside, it's hollowed out and smooth to begin with. But now you have the issue of the rounded corners, again, which is, it is not a mystery Christopher done, it's a one centimetre drill bit. So that's the part that you're left over with. Uh, now, how do you, well, let's look at some of the actual finishes on the inside of the Serapine because they're not precision. You hear this all the time but how do they actually look? So here's a shot, notice on the bottom right, it's quite rough there, Some, you know, it's, they're not straight, they're, no, they're, they're nicely done, but they're not precise. So again, that's an example of what it looks like um, on the corner. Uh, uh, they're, again, even this is the 90 degrees, what's well, 89 degrees even by this tool. Measurements have been done, it's not perfect. Notice the quality of the corner. This particular box has a much nicer inner corner. Okay, here we see a comparison with a more mysterious rounded corner and a sharper corner there on the inside. The rounded corner, well, we can finish that off easily. How do you get to the, to the sharper corners? All right, those sharper corners. You begin with the rounded ones, or how would you do the sharp ones? Uh, it's not, a, not, not only is it a, not a mystery, it's not, uh, again, I've done the experiment. Uh, copper saw blades, I had the thicker one or the thinner one, and to just get a single blade, run it along that corner to turn the, ra the impossible five, four millimeter uh, radial corner into a sharper corner, and it would take about uh, not even five minutes of cutting. So, depending on the length of your blade or going down, again, this would be done in a day. Uh, by just a couple of people so this again this part as well it is like no mystery i'll be easily replicated uh again all these pieces put together replicate the box if someone wants to invest uh for probably twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars for the initial price of granite if you're working in the us and then put up wages of uh six months uh for a you know i'm not a pharaoh i can't afford to hire a small work this 30 people would be a small work crew in ancient Egypt. They were, the 100 people was a, a work crew. Uh, so again, this would be easily, easily done. And now we'll look at the inner trihedral corners. This is a uh, trihedral inner corner in granite sarcophagus from the Serapim, uh, from the Scientists Against Smith's team, using stone tools to do this. Now notice she's working most of the time, the 40 hours was to, again first time as well. So she's not an experienced mason with all, you know, a generation of knowledge. But it was removing all of that material to get to the corner. That was the hard part. But by drilling the way that I showed with a small diameter drill on the corners, uh, this is not even all necessary. So we can just skip this part. So here we go. Doing the drilling as I showed small diameter drill on the outside, larger ones just to speed up the process. She would be left with uh, something that would look closer to that. And again, this would be sort of knocked out in a very, very short time. Most of the work is, has already been done. And just as a reminder, the Serapeum boxes are iron age. So that it needs to be demonstrated to do it in copper. It's not really even this, but well, it absolutely can. And we got the work rates to do it. And so, Again, what's the, the issue of, uh, you know, it's, you're inside the big box, some will say, oh, well, she comes at it from the outside. Well, she's working on a small block. If she's sitting on the inside of the block, it's making a corner. So 
there you go. Like, what, what's the problem? Measurements have been taken. The Serapian box is not precise, precision, blah, blah, blah. Playlist in the description of now multiple times, ground, granite down. Uh, here's the important part, though, because, again, through experimentation, I learned. The stone, so working on the wall, they go, well, it's okay, when you're working on a flat part, no problem. Well, when you're working on the walls, the mud actually makes the stone stick to the walls. If you don't keep your mix right, it gets so st stuck to it that you have to bang it off with a hammer. So even using, I'm using a small handheld stone. Later times, I use a larger stone just to cover more area and get it done faster. But I could polish, grind down the walls with a large stone and not get tired doing it because that's just, yeah. Uh, so these will be the things I'm sure that they would have picked up because I managed to pick them up uh, in no time as well. But of course, lost ancient high technologists never touched a stone, never done anything in their life. And then they, they referred to uh, Yusef Iwan as master stone. This guy's got no idea. I'm not even a stonemason and I know that this guy has no idea what he's talking about. If he had done anything, he would have learned. So polishing the walls, easy thing to do. Uh, also, again, in these experiments, you see how quickly this thing gets done. It's not take weeks or years of stuff to do it. No, um, it, the amount of work that you get done in an hour is, is impressive. What you would get done in, uh, you know, a couple of days, especially with a team, uh, you would just, that part of the job would be knocked off so quickly. So to get a nice polish, perfectly flat surface, again, link in the description, I made actual precision flat pack plates not Christopher Dunn fake flatness as he measures it but actual precision flat plates that float on top of each other I've done them links in the description anyone's welcome to try if they have uh, any other doubts and a challenge to all the lost ancient high technologists let's go on a live stream and do this that's much that's my challenge let's go on a live stream um, and do it uh, but of course they heavily censor it they cover all this stuff up so Polishing it, not a problem, uh, but then Baraba Caves and the Microns, okay. Link to the full playlist of all these experiments will be uh, in the description. Here's an actual, actual precision flatness plate made by hand, just using the very simple polishing technique, the uh, Whitworth method, uh, free plate method. I did this a couple times with uh, a few stones and just got you know, fan, you know, high level actual precision and you can see by the way that the stones float so we put the stone down the two polished surfaces and they're also very uh, reflective other videos I should like you have a mirror reflection um, on those things put the stone down and how flat is it well it floats so you've got the Bernoulli effect going it's like a uh, uh, air, air hockey table this is one of the ways that pr when they make precision flat plates once they get this effect they know they're at at a high level of precision flatness and that it's that they're floating did uh, uh, again how to not just showing you the results I do how to videos so that anyone including the lost ancient high technologists who've never done a thing in their life uh, could do this again I'm not a stonemason but yet they have apparently they have these expert stonemasons and stuff on their side and yet they're not able to do it and you know little old me from the suburbs with a few bucks of investment few hours of elbow grease are able to put this in and and show it so again uh, lost ancient high technologists they're covering this up because they don't want people to see it now measurable how good could i polish again this is what lost ancient high technologists uncharted x in, insist is impossible by hand tool so those same polishing techniques i showed they freak out over 31 microns, um, but uh, and they go with the impossible single digit microns of polishing. Playlist isn't it? I made my own abrasives, I graded my own abrasives, uh, and this was done in, again in a very short time. It's not, not me, at, you know, with years of experience, it was, we'll just get stuck in and do it. So I'm doing the, the impossible. And so, uh, again, what can you say? The proof is in the pudding. And again, these were the challenges made. Uncharted exit, like, oh, you must do this. And the two experimentalists, like, oh, I'll be entertained to watch you do this. And yet then they uh, don't show it. And I might point out that when I uh, filmed it, I filmed all of my results, the good and the bad. I didn't pick 
the best results, chucked them in a documentary. I picked all of them so you can see the range of measurements. But I'm always in the single digits and I get down to the impossible uh, one and a half micron point um, in there as well. And this was just by a, a quick polish of the plates that I, I had already done. Very little experience, a few dollars in investment. I just put the, um, yeah, I, I put the hours in. Lost ancient high technologists take people on tours. You know, you can't draw oh, a striation. Oh, you can't, you can't, can't right? This takes too long. But uh, actually, it gets done. And again, uh, all of the parts required to do this has been shown. But then they shift. Well, now you must make a full size box. Well, if I want to contribute the labour or the money, I'd be happy to take orders to make one. We can set up a 24-hour camera with security guards to make sure that no one comes in with steel tools because steel is magical tr precision is transferred if you have hand tools made of steel but uh, with copper and all this stuff so all of this has been done again it's just not being shown by the lost ancient high technologists live stream challenge I, I'm, you know, I'll put my money where my mouth is in regards to that um, uh, and to all the expert stonemasons in the comment section well i'll see you on the live stream as well i'm you know i don't know your trade and yet i can do it so well, you know what can i say are you a stonemason or are you faking to be a stonemason or are you just a bad one what can i you know, what is it let me entertain you proof is in the pudding all right making back to how do they do it now drill pop out the cores uh, again, we show these. All of these stages can can be done um, by copper, and then the polishing. Well, they use a power tool. I use a hand tool. I got. I can demos. Literally demos. I show it and and put it up. So I know how long it takes. Okay, there's all the steps done. Put them together. You have the box. If you demand that a box be made, well, you pay, or you do it. Replicate the experiments, they're all there. Please, lost ancient high technologists, do something, anything, please. Just one thing, uh, uh, repeat these experiments, or at the very least, show them and make your rebuttal. Don't wave them with your hand and say, well, you know, no, I didn't work. Show them to the audience. Uh, if you've got the balls, which you don't, because you know that your house of cards is gonna collapse, but at the very least, whether it's the moving, the quarrying, or what we've seen here and all these other experiments, you hide these, you censor these, and, and then when they, you, one sentence wave, all of the experimentalists have done them, and oh, they don't match, well they do, and you don't have the guts to show them. So if you want it, we'll be looking at US dollars, twenty-five dollars to $40,000 for the block. A uh, team of 15, up to, at certain times, maybe up to 30 for uh, six to nine months. A uh, small change for a king, a rich lord, That's just this, that, that would be an army unit, diverted over to there so by pharaoh rules he doesn't have to pay he owns the quarries he's already got much larger armies and and uh, public service working for him virtually all the copper will be returned because you don't lose it you we retrieve the copper uh, f some wood some ropes some strings some resin bits of leather here and there sundry materials the material costs apart from the stone would be pretty low probably measured in uh, hundreds of dollars and again, the expensive part, the copper, would be all returned to you. If you need to see it done, either you cough up the dosh or you go and do the labour yourself. And again, if, if you think that this is so important about human, you know, uncovering humanity's lost past and lost ancient high technology, well then you are grown adults. You have some responsibility to do this. You asked for the experiments and then you don't show them. And then you shift the goalpost. Well, no one's ever replicated a large box. In the case of Uncharted X, I heard him on a podcast saying, well, we were, he was talking with a production team and he was going to reward someone who was able to do this with $25,000. That wouldn't cover the price of the friggin' stone to begin with. These guys have no idea what they're uh, talking about and they're lazy and they're censorious and they're deceitful in, in that case. And so, um, yeah, if you want it, if you think it's important, do something or contribute something. You know, as they say, you know, poop or get off the potty. And if you say, well, I need to, if you're not going to contribute and you need to see it done, then you're not serious. No one's, you shouldn't be taken serious. You should be mocked in, just to be blunt about that as well. And if you're 
you know, interested in truth, well, be interested in truth. Uh, I don't care about your religion, your cult, which is like, you know, I've Atlantis and the super machines and all. Uh, I know I cared enough to try and to give it a go and to put these up to the challenges that were made. And again, just not covered by the, by the people who ask for it. So if you want it, I'll accept the challenge. But you've got to do something. You've got to, you've got to contribute something. If we fail, we don't pay, you don't pay a cent. If we succeed, then you pay everything. How about that? That's fair. Because I, I know for a fact that it, it can be done. Um, I'd bet the house on, on this. And so if you're willing to meet me, you know, to accept this challenge, well, I'll be here any day of the week, buddies. Come on. Do, step up, step, step up, step up.